All right, bottom of the third. That's the end of the Wood Elves' third turn. Really not much to say. I just moved some guys around here. I shot there. These are up a little higher. I did uh, take off some shots for blocking there. And uh, then this unit shot, that unit shot. So, yeah. Got quite a few Warriors of Chaos casualties going on there. But we'll see if the uh, Warriors can turn it around and press the advance. They, uh, yeah, It's really a tough call what to do here because the Knights can definitely run this unit off. So, But this unit's really sitting here in the middle. Uh, I think their best bet is probably to turn around and try and make a push that way. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So Chaos Warriors are going to reform here. And reform here. And we're going to go ahead and just do a charge there. Uh, my measure is uh, 6. Probably uh, need a 13 or 14. Let's see if it's close. So the charge here. Uh, I'm going to stand and shoot. I don't think they are within the front arc at all. Nope. So that is a flank charge. Wow, this could be really bad. So I believe they have movement 8. I'm not sure. I'm going to give the Wood Elves the benefit of the doubt this time and call it 7 Bartered War Horses. Should bring them to a 7. Plus the highest of 2 is 14. So that is uh, po very possibly some contact there. Let's get out the tape measure and measure it. Oh, that's very bad for me. Yep, it's 14. So we end up a little something like this. Chaos Knights in the flank equals bad. Uh, the good news is only three of them can get into contact. Those of you familiar with base sizes will be able to do the math on that one. And alright, so let's roll it. Chaos Knights have higher initiative. Two attacks each. Do they have higher initiative? Uh, nope. Same initiative. I think their ensorcelled weapons give them plus one strength. Let's uh, roll them. That would be two hits. Yep, weapon skill five versus weapon skill four. And two ups to wound. So that's two Glade Guard dead. Uh, now the Glade Guard get to go back. Two attacks, four ups. That's one hit. Five ups to wound. Uh, that's no wounding hit. They are... Oh, wow. And now the Chaos Steeds. Four ups. That's one. Strength four. There is no wound. And so the Wood Elves are down by two, by three for flank. Uh, remember, we didn't give them commands. Now you might say, well, why didn't you give them commands? Because you always take that. Uh, it's a matter of points. If I gave them commands, then the Wood Elves would have more things, and I'm really just trying to get a basic feel for it right now. So the Wood Elves need a, like a 6 to hold, a 5 maybe even. Well, that's definitely not it. So let's go ahead and do the fleeing. Uh, the Chaos Knights are definitely going to pursue. Uh, best 2 out of 3. That's a 9. And the Glade Guard roll a 8. So the Glade Guard are destroyed. They don't even move. Boom. No panic checks for nearby enemies. And then we go ahead and just move the knights. They're nine inches approximately. By the way, I can figure this distances out because this is two inches right here. That makes that kind of easy. So, Wood Elves are looking pretty sad at this point in time. We'll see if they can pull it out. We're at the bottom of the fourth. Okay, end of Wood Elf turn three. I think we're on turn three. I really don't know. Uh, basically knocked this unit down to one guy. Uh, yeah. Even Glade Guard can stand against just one Chaos Warrior. So, there it is. So let's do, um, let's do Chaos. Let's do a march here. 14 inches, so let's just measure it around. So that's to there. That's 12. And then two more get you to about that. Yeah, this is going to be a mop-up operation. I don't think we have to go any further with it. The knights 
Absolutely. Same thing for Bretonian Knights. You just won't be able to shoot at them enough to take care of it. But, you know, I am going to play it out to the bitter end and see what happens. This little thing may actually be an advantage. So, uh, okay, so let's go ahead and just... Um, Let's charge the one Chaos Warrior into these guys. As you may recall, they're right there. Um, boy, do I want to do that? You know what? The real best thing for the Chaos player to do would just be to run this guy off like that and hope either he's a distraction or you can deny points for him. So let's go ahead and move these guys up like this. Eight-inch march. Whoops. And two more. So there's that. Now remember, this unit's up here like that. And so, uh, Wood Elf turn four, I think it is. I'm going to go ahead and just do a complete wheel around, or however I got to do it. A reform ought to do it. Move these guys back two inches. Make sure I'm within the magic 15. All right, got to use the tack template again. Six, 12. Yep, actually, I shouldn't move back to be within the magic 15. Move these guys up. Five. Remember, they can move and shoot without penalty. That's the great thing about wood elves. And am I within the magic 15 here? So there's six, 12, and then three more. Nope, not within the magic 15, Blarg. Okay, end of wood elf turn four. This unit shot here. I managed to knock off one Chaos Knight. Uh, this unit shot here managed to kill exactly zero guys. And this unit shot close range at this one guy, managed to kill zero guys. So uh, overall a pretty dismal showing on the part of the Wood Elves. Let's move on to Chaos turn 5, top of the 5th. Now, what I found is if you're playing against this army, and I'm at the magic 14.9 inches, you really don't want to try and charge that, because you've got to roll basically an 11 or a 12. What you want to do is you want to march up and then make it so that there's no escape the following turn. And I think that's exactly what the Warriors of Chaos are going to do. We're, we're not, we are charging with the Chaos Knights, I just forgot to do that. So basically, Wood Elves, no way for them to get away. Now, Glade Riders would have less hitting power, because they, they're double the cost of Glade Guard, and they don't have the strength for close range shots, which is the real killer. Uh, but they can evade all of this. Like, they would not be charged by any of these things. They would just completely dance around using fast cavalry rules. So that's an interesting thing, but I don't think glade riders by themselves are going to annihilate whole units. So this is definitely... I'm toast there. And in fact, I'm toast here, too. But uh, we'll, see, we'll see what happens by the end of the next turn. Oh, yeah, let's get the charge going on. I am in a stand and shoot here for sure. So, knights, definitely making it because we do count this as easy terrain. Now, if it were rough terrain, that would be, that would be different for them, I guess. Um, but I also couldn't be moving through it so easily because, uh, unfortunately, this isn't a forest. And I would like to point something out that 8th edition hosed forests for wood elves. And, and I mean in a big way. Like forests now are bad. Like wood elves want to get out of the forest. They don't want to have anything to do with forests. Because forests no longer hinder movement, but they do hinder shooting. That if you shoot through a forest, granted if you're in it and shooting out, but that's not a good place for a wood elf to be because enemy units can just barrel right on into the forest. And it doesn't help the Wood Elves one single bit. It doesn't slow down enemy units. It's really, it's really quite horrid for the Wood Elf list. Okay, Chaos Knights, of course, ran over that unit hideously and just trundled on. And so we're on the bottom of the fifth. That's Wood Elf turn five. Let's see what these girls can do. I only have two surviving units. That's pretty bad. Okay, Wood Elf turn five. I managed to destroy all but one Chaos Knight with these two units of Glade Guard. So that only leaves the, that one guy and the Warriors. So turn six, nothing for the Warriors to do but charge. Uh, I am going to, I have to decide whether I'm going to stand and shoot. 
you know, I'd prefer to live to fight another day, so I'm going to go ahead and flee. The flea is five inches. Let's go ahead and move that. And that leaves the Chaos Warriors about 14 inches to run. So let's take a look. A nine would, nope. So they only go forward two inches. Wah. And uh, the knight really can't charge anything. It's their last turn, so really his best bet is to run for cover. And so denying me the points for that. So 14 inches, put them right about there. These are all dead guys, by the way. And so, Wood Elf last turn. Let's see if I can rally on a 9 here. And I do on a 7. So they turn around. Let's just imagine that that happens. And I'm going to back up. I believe that's within the magic 15. Not going to measure. Uh, unfortunately, I have to completely... Oh, man. To kill that one last knight. Because two units are, doubt are very doubtful it's going to kill this entire unit. So the Wood Elves might come out ahead if they just swing around and a few guys can shoot that knight down. Let's go ahead and just roll it. Uh, let's say, you know, probably eight guys could see him. Let's try it. Hitting on fours. This is for close range. Minus one to hit because of Mark Nurgle. Four up to wound. That's three wounding hits, and we're looking for a one. Uh, nope, no ones. So, Chaos Knight survives, and unless I can roll sixes 24 times in a row, this unit's probably going to survive too. Yeah, well, I could force a panic check. That's something I haven't. Oh, but you don't uh, lose points if you're running at the end of the game. So, really, this is... Uh, all academic at this point. Uh, yep, two guys die. Oh. Alright, so I've been doing these little experimental games to test the Wood Elf Archer Horde idea under the most rigorous conditions, the most unfair conditions that there could possibly be. Well, obviously not that could possibly be, but you get the point. And my hope was to prove that it was a good list. Now I'm not so sure. I'm going to actually have to play some games. Uh, and so, but it's definitely not a list where you can just run over it arbitrarily. You also have to notice, note that um, this list is supposed to work in tandem with uh, Archmage and two Treemen to mop up those units and prevent them from getting into the Glade Guard line. I'm not proposing that you spend all 2,500 points on just Glade Guard. Uh, you have to have uh, a combination, but I'm saying mostly Glade Guard will leave other units, will, will leave enemy units basically defenseless against the, the tree men. So really, I, I think I'm ready to at least try this army now. I know that it's not something that can just get steamrollered arbitrarily. And really, the, uh, the score would have been about, let's see, it's about, for 12 Chaos Warriors, you're looking at about, with a musician, at about 180 points. And the Archer units weigh in at about 125. So if I had managed to kill this last guy, this actually would have been a win for the Wood Elves. But since you get zero points for partially destroying a unit... One survivor means that all those knights were worth no victory points. Which I have to say is a big gripe I have about 8th edition. No half points for wiping something out half or more? Are you kidding me? Like, one guy can be standing. The musician's like, uh, burr burr. And, uh, nope, no points for you. But uh, I'm sure they designed it and they had their reasons for doing it.